Hello and welcome. In this screencast, we'll take a look at how to create uh, different colors, uh, fill colors to the charts that we create. So I'll get started by again taking a look at the Widget Sync dataset, and I'm going to select the appropriate area and uh, I'm going to insert a column. It'll be a cluster 2D column and here it is. Now what we need to do is to change the color for the northern region. So we'll attempt to do that. So one way to do that is to just select, gently click on the northern region once and having selected it, you can go on to layout and you can format the selection and here the fill color can be changed. Let's say you want it to be solid fill and you want the color to be uh, maybe a diff, uh, shade of uh, orange. Okay, so maybe orange accent six. Okay, so you can choose that and click close, and that changes the color for the northern regions uh, uh, chart. Another way to select this uh, is instead of just clicking on this once, if you're uncomfortable with the mouse, what you can do is you can just go here go in layouts and within that just click on the chart elements drop down menu and go all the way to the series north and when you do that the series north will be selected and now you can go to the format selection and click on the fill click solid fill and change the color to an appropriate color that you wish so that's how you can change the colors of the individual elements, the in individual data charts, data bars in the chart. What if you want to change the color of the background? To do that, uh, what you need to do is go to plot area and within that more plot area options. And you can just uh, choose a fill color. Let's say you want a gradient fill and you have a bunch of options here. I'm going to choose a preset color. Specifically, I'll choose the parchment color and click close. And there you are, the background of your chart has been changed as well. Finally, we'll see how to make use of the trend line feature. Supposing you want to see whether the sales in the northern region is overall increasing or decreasing over the four year period. For this, you can choose a trend line. Go to again within layouts, click on the trend line button. And let's say we just want a linear trend line and here you can choose a series on which to base your trend line i'm going to choose the north series click ok and so this trend line here reflects the sales overall over the four years for the northern region you can likewise add trend lines for other regions so let's say i want to add one for the southern region and you can see a different trend line appear for the southern region but there's a slight confusion here they both look kind of alike. So to change how a trend line looks, you can just click once on a particular trend line, in this case, the southern trend line, and you can format the selection. Of course, another way to select this would be um, to click on this drop down button here, and you can see the series south trend line. That's another way to select it and be sure that you're selecting the right element. And click on format selection and let us say you want the line style to be a dashed line. So I'm just going to choose this one here. Click close. And now the southern trend line shows up as a dashed line, whereas the northern trend line shows up as a straight line, as a, as a, a continuous line. So that's how you create a trend line and uh, that gives you better insight into what the data is telling you. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out more videos on codable.com and our channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching.